Just like video four, this video is divided into two main chapters, roughing out and shaping. First, I will introduce you to the thigh carving blanks. Here is the left upper hind leg or thigh carving blank. Eventually, this will be jointed to the left foot in video 10. A strip of leather will be inserted into these slots. The shaded areas on the carving blank will be removed in chapter 1. The knee joint will be carved into a semicircle in chapter 2. In video 6, we'll carve the feet to match. Chapter 1. Roughing out. Carving the outside shape. There's just one step for this chapter. Here is a right thigh carving blank before roughing out. And here is a left thigh carving blank after roughing out. We're going to carve the outside shape. Here are the carving directions for roughing out. By the way, the grain of the wood is running along the length of the piece. Hold the piece by the base of the thigh. And carve from the centre of the piece towards the top of the thigh. Then, flip the piece around, hold it by the top of the thigh and carve from the centre of the piece towards the knee joint. You will need to alternate between these two carving directions, carving mostly with the grain of the wood. Watch what I do in the following footage, and skip ahead when you're ready.
Chapter 1 continued. After roughing out, make sure that both thighs are symmetrical. You can also clean up this area on the inside of the leg. This area needs to remain flat to rotate on the hare's body. Chapter 2. Shaping. Carving the knee joint and refining the shape. Here's another look at how the knee joint will line up with the foot. In this chapter, we'll carve the knee joint into a semicircle. To do this, we'll carve away the two front edges of the thigh to remove these two corners. We'll also shape the rear two edges and knock off the top edge. Step one, shaping the knee joint. Starting with the outside edge, carve downhill towards the bottom of the knee. Watch what I do in the following footage and skip ahead when you're ready. Step one continued. When you're ready, carve away the inside edge as well. Starting from about here. Step one continued. Finally, before moving on to step two, you can knock off the top edge of the thigh. Carve towards the top of the thigh, blending the edge with where you've already carved.
Step two, shaping the rear edges. After step one, the knee joint now forms a semicircle and the front of the leg has curved edges. Now we're going to shape the two rear edges. Starting with the outside edge. We'll carve mostly towards the top of the leg. Watch what I do in the following footage and skip ahead when you're ready. Step two continued. Here is the thigh after carving the outside rear edge. There is just one edge left to carve, the inside rear edge. For this edge, you will need to carve in two directions forming a small valley. Watch what I do in the following footage and skip ahead when you're ready.
Step three, final shaping or reducing. When you're ready, try a mock assembly of the puppet. Here, both thighs have been roughed out, but only the left thigh has been shaped. After shaping, make sure that the thigh is thin enough for the top arm to swing past. At this point, you can reduce the thickness further if you want to. I knocked off a bit more wood from the top of the thigh. To make the hips a bit slimmer. Here, both thighs have been shaped so that the hips look symmetrical. Here is a quick look at the right thigh after shaping, which is a mirror of the left thigh. This concludes video 5. In video 6, we'll carve the feet.